Hi, welcome to Little Bits. I'm Paul and I'm going to tell you a little bit about our new Arduino module. The Arduino module is the first module in the Little Bits library that is user programmable and it's a part of the Arduino at Heart program. Uh, being a part of the Arduino at Heart program means that you'll find resources for the module uh, at the Arduino website as well as the Little Bits website and the module is fully compatible with the Arduino IDE. Uh, now I'm going to show you a little bit about how to get started with the module. To get started with your Arduino module, you'll need to go to the arduino.cc website or littlebits.cc website and download the most recent version of the Arduino IDE. To connect the Arduino module to your computer, use the micro USB cable and connect it to the Arduino module as well as a USB port on your computer. When your Arduino module is powered up and connected to your computer, you can navigate in the Arduino IDE to the Tools section of the menu bar and go down to Board. In Board, you'll want to select the Arduino Leonardo as your target. After you've selected your board, you'll go back to the menu bar Tools section and select your serial port. On a Mac, the serial port will start with dev forward slash tty.usb modem. On a PC, the serial port will start with com. To get started, you can download 10 sketches that we've provided on the Little Bits website. These should walk you through the basics of using Arduino and the Arduino IDE. Looking at the Arduino module, you'll see that there are three input and three output connectors. The first connector we'll look at is the digital input and serial input. This is connected to pin D0 of the microcontroller and as a digital input can only read whether or not a signal is on or off. Since it's a serial input it can potentially receive digital information from another module. It can also allow two Arduino modules to talk to one another. The next input down is an analog input. This can be used in analog or digital read and is connected to pin A0. The last input we'll look at is another analog digital input and this is connected to pin A1. On the top of the board you'll notice a USB jack. This is a USB micro B jack and this is how you'll connect the module to your computer. Looking at the output connectors, the first we'll see is digital output and it's connected to pin D1. This connector also has serial output capabilities. The middle output connector is a digital output. It has PWM capabilities and is connected to pin D5. This output has a mode switch that allows you to select between analog and PWM outputs. In analog output mode, the output is sent through a low pass filter. This allows the signal to be more similar to the rest of the signals in the little bit system. In PWM mode, you'll see a PWM signal that is common output for microcontrollers. The last output we'll look at is also a digital PWM out. It's connected to pin D9 and also has an output mode switch to select analog or PWM outputs. For the Arduino module, we've included a few extra features for more advanced users. The first being two digital I.O. These are pins D2 and D3. These are also pins that allow you to connect to the I squared C bus. This means you can connect multiple modules together and have them communicate without using any of the BitSnap connectors. We've included an ICSP header footprint so if you need to, you can change the bootloader or program the module directly from this header. We've included three extra analog I.O., A2, A3, and A4, to connect to anything outside the Little Bits library. In addition, we've added three digital I.O., D10, D11, and D13, which are all PWM outputs, that can also be connected to anything outside the Little Bits library. To find projects, code, and resources, go to littlebits.cc.